What's up YouTube? Uh, today I'm going to do a video of my new device I've built. So yeah, phone tapping device basically for landline use. I'll explain how it works later but now I'll just give a little demonstration without my mum screaming at me like she did a minute ago. Alright, uh, basically you get the uh, phone socket. This is a standard 4 4 phone cable. Yeah, plug it in, shove it in there. And you keep it on the lot on the off position which is fully uh, anti clockwise. Counts clockwise, whatever. Then you get your uh, headphone socket, plug even. Put in that. And you gotta turn this up until you hear the dial tone. Nice and slowly, that way it doesn't knock out the phone line. So check the phone out to be knocked out. <laughs> yeah, internet's still going on. Right. Listen in carefully, you should be able to just hear dial tone. I'm not sure you'll be able to, it's not very loud, but I haven't got an amplification circuit in there. So if you can hear that then that's good. That means it's picking up signals from the phone line. Obviously it's now off hook. So you won't be able to hit, make, receive or make phone calls from the system. So you've got to switch that back off when it's not in use. Put it right and put it and zero it out again. Right. Now you can use the phone again. And once the phone is ringing, um, you can uh, then tap in. And once the conversation's in order, plug it in. Plug your headphones in and turn it up slowly and you should be able to hear the conversation clearly through the headphones and it won't drop out the phone call since it's not a mic device it's only taking from the circuit not giving to the circuit so, and then when the, when, they, when they hang up just take that back down to zero unplug from there and unplug the headphones simple as that all right take a video of it um how it works in a bit of light now okay um if uh, the router is like such, you have all all five lights on. That's one's power. Then it's wireless. Then it's uh, uh, wired devices. These four here. Then DSL and internet. If you do this wrong, it will most likely drop out DSL. That's if you leave it. Off, that's, if you, that's if you leave the um, device off hook when the phones are on hook. It doesn't the router doesn't like it, so best not to do that. Right, so let's look at the device. You only need uh, two of the wires from the phone for this. This is a uh, red and green for these are the ones used for the phone circuit. Black and yellow are also used with uh, the router mainly. Right, the red goes into uh, 1k, 1 kilo ohm resistor here. That's the current limiting so you don't hear the annoying screeching sound on the headphones when you're listening in. And that, then that's in series with a 100 kilo ohm potentiometer, which is just for volume adjustment and tapping purposes, so you don't just pop onto the line and knock out everything. And that leads back around to the output here, which is just a little uh, audio 1.8 jack audio socket. And yeah, that's the red done for that. Just cut, just cut off the black and yellow because they're not needed, like I said. Um, green, just just just, just uh, links together with the green on the output, because that's just ground, so you don't need that. Make sure things a good connection, or again, you'll get a good, you'll get a nasty old screeching sound on the headphones, which isn't pleasant at all. And that's basically all you need to build one of these, and then just put it, put it in a little project box like this one here. It was about five to build, I think. It's not, not very expensive at all. I already had the cable lying about, so that made things easier. Now, I've just got to wait for the, someone to use the phone and I can uh, tap into it. Don't want to speak loudly, don't want my mum to hear me about this. <laughs> that is Agent 009MW on YouTube. You can check out his uh, videos if you wish to. I'm 
feature in one of them. Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. <coughs> no, no, I've got to wait for a incoming phone call and I can use this. 